Born at the outset of the Civil War in Mississippi, Margaret Murray Washington became one of the most influential women of the early 20th century. At the age of 14, she went to Nashville to receive an education, and later she attended Fisk Institute's preparatory school. While attending classes, she began teaching in local schools. After graduating with honors, she received a position in Alabama's Tuskegee Normal and Industrial Institute. Within a year, she was promoted to Dean of Women, charged with educating a new generation of black women. She began courtship with Booker T. Washington, the founding president of the Institute, and within two years, they were married. As wife of the president and dean of women, Washington held a lot of influence in the community. She used her position to encourage education, respectability, and the, quote, uplift of the African-American community. One avenue for this was her active work in women's clubs. Through these clubs, she taught women proper housekeeping to improve home life, established country schools for black children, encouraged women to become better educated themselves, worked for the improvement of prisons, and overall sought the betterment of her community. The Tuskegee Women's Clubs divided its work into departments, including the Temperance Division, the Humane Society, the Mother's Meeting Division, the Jail Division, and the Suffrage Division. When discussing her own view of suffrage, Washington wrote, Personally, woman suffrage has never kept me awake at night. But I am sure before this country is able to take its place amongst the great democratic nations of the earth, it has got to come to the place where it is willing to trust its citizens, black as well as white, women as well as men. Washington's vision was holistic. She knew that suffrage was only one part of the problem, but she sought to improve the lives of African Americans in a more immediate way. Washington maintained her club work until her death in 1925, but the clubs themselves outlived her and continued to pursue her vision of the future. <laughs>